so embarrassing. Now everybody know when you pooping because it just automatically right there. <laughs> you know you didn't start saying facts until we were together, right? And now you say it as often as I do. <laughs> That's hilarious. Where does little naked little boy run into? Oh, from the pool? So let me see. To the pool. I have yet to ever go into that pool. What you listening out for? <laughs> So right now I'm just, I'm seeing which way the pump goes. Okay. So since I never used this one before, I'm just seeing which way the pump goes. Okay. Now I just gotta find a hole and stick in. Typically you should be wearing a glove doing this, but. Living do life on the wild side. Yo, facts. That's all right. <laughs> we do that from time to time. That looks disgusting. You know what? Nine out of ten mechanics have swallowed some kind That's of That's nasty. My dad has. I've seen it happen to him. And he was—he did it like it was nothing. Like, oh, okay, now I gotta stop. That looks like poo. It sounds like diarrhea. <laughs> That looks like the stuff when people can't poop on, like, by themselves, the little colos- what is it? Colossal oh, no, no, bag no. or whatever? <laughs> That's what that looked like. That's so embarrassing. Now everybody know when you pooping, because it just automatically right there. <laughs> just, just there. <laughs> the coloscomy bag. Coloscomy bag. I don't know. I think we still probably saying it wrong. I probably am. More than likely am. Hi, how are you? See, this will be a good time to vacuum. Now I know she ain't home. She leaving. Oh, that's her? Okay. Yeah. I don't be talking to nobody else. <laughs> Just to let you know, you look really good on camera. You do. More of a reason why you should start recording <laughs> what you do. So fine, y'all. And he all mine. Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> yeah, I would be happy with that. <laughs> I was just admiring your handsomeness. Yes. <laughs> Do you love this car as much as you love me? No. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure the people knew that too. Because <laughs> you love this car. You have a love-hate relationship with it. No, I absolutely do. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely do. But no one else can say they put in the blood, sweat, and tears. You know, I was thinking about that. I was that like, you Yo. put into this car. I don't know about it. Like, this is you. All this is you. Yeah. You did it. I could honestly say, like, yo, like, I have not seen another Jetta like, like this. Um, like, as many videos as I watch. This is a one of a kind. Yeah, like, That's it. it. So now when you gonna do my little engine filter Yo, I be, I be thinking about, I was thinking, I was like, yo, you know what? I should do that on the way down to Florida. But then I was, or the way back up, it was one of those. Good morning. Woo. Ah, it's Wednesday. And I look mighty crazy because, one, I just finished working out. It's been two weeks since I worked out, and I had the nerve to tell my trainer, yo, make up a super hard workout. And you know, I'm gonna go hard, add some boxing into it, forgetting that I had nails. Still kind of sweaty, but man, I'm gonna put, oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put a little bit of the workout in the video for now. You have enough space?
think my protein shake I love blue diamond and this is a protein shake that I use I'm so tired y'all clearly I can't even hold the dog on camera up I'm just so tired this is oh is it open <gasps> y'all oh thank you god for quick hands so this is what i use the organic protein and superfoods that's what i use so and this is the blender bottle that i use so i'm gonna make that with some eggs and some turkey sausage with some bell peppers and then i'm gonna get ready for work and go to this wonderful amazing job but if you have not worked out today and you're watching this you're probably watching this on a sunday or whatever day you choose to watch this go work out because you'll feel good you may get tired you may get weary i was really drenched in sweat but it's okay because your girl look good your girl gonna get her ass she's at her weight goal now now all it is is just about toning up so for me i'm gonna kind of lay off cardio a little bit not too much a little bit and just focus solely on strength training so i can tone up and your girl gonna be looking snatched out here look bad okay because i want to look good <laughs> and eventually when i have kids in the future i don't want my body to like revert back to fat i want to be able to like push that baby out and still look good so i gotta work on the body now <laughs> all right man i'll see y'all later Saturday, y'all. I feel okay. Camera. First of all, I don't know why this even light is on. Hi, guys. Happy Saturday. Guess who's off on a Saturday? It's his moi. Me. I'm off on a Saturday, and I clearly don't know how to hold my hand to like. How about I do this, right? So, I came in here to talk to y'all about some things. All right, I went to the gas station, right? I should probably go wash my hands. Let me go wash my hands and then I will come back and say what I wanna say. Hold on. All right, so I went to the gas station and I got I was really craving some snacks and I'm not a snacker at all. I'd rather just have real food, eat it at the moment and call it a day, right? Um, then I realized, man, every single time I go to the gas station or these stores, so I don't really eat a lot of chips no more. One of my favorite chips in the past used to be the Flamin' Hot Puffs. I could eat them all day, every day. Then right after that, it was hot fries. And I could eat those all day, every day. Now, uh, like a year ago, my doctor was my my doctor was telling me how eating spicy foods kind of like ruin your insides and all this other stuff or whatever and i kind of she didn't tell me to stop eating spicy food because i told her how much i love spicy food but she told me to slow down on it because i was having extremely extremely bad abdominal pain and it was caused because of the spicy food that i was eating which was sad so i had stopped eating hot puffs now every time i eat hot puffs it just tastes good just don't my stomach don't agree so anyway i said all that to say because i've been going to these stores and i've realized man they are always they're making everything into flaming hot something so i was like okay you have flaming hot lays flaming hot ruffles flaming hot doritos flaming hot corn chip fritos then you got the regular original flaming hot cheetos um then you got uh, the flaming hot puffs, the flaming hot fries. Um, it was just a whole bunch of chips. I was just like, are we all just partnering up with Chester Cheeto and y'all just chilling with Chester? And he's like, oh, let's just make everything flaming hot. So now, if I do snack on something, I don't eat popcorn normally. I can't stand popcorn. There's only one particular popcorn that I eat, and that is the Smart Foods 
popcorn the smart foods white cheddar popcorn comes a black bag that's the only popcorn i would eat then i go to the gas station and this is what i find flaming hot white cheddar popcorn and i was like what what is this what is this what is it and i'm super excited to try it <laughs> so i'm gonna try it in front of you guys but give me a second i feel like it's gonna mess up my stomach yeah i smell everything before i eat it you know still has that look You gotta have a couple in your mouth to really embrace the taste. Not impressed. It's spicy though, but guess what? I paid one eighty nine for this. It's gonna get eight. It's not that good though. Don't waste your money like I did. Well, it's not gonna be a waste because it's gonna be in my belly. But I don't know if I even wanna finish it. Mm. Not that great. Uh, and idiotic stuff. That's why people just want their stuff to sell. People that need money, Jay Z don't need no money. But he can make an album like that. Okay, but you just naming one a few people who talk a good game, like involved, like evolving and stuff like that. J. Cole. Who? Okay, all right. Let's take Kendrick out. Let's take J. Oh, Cole out. out. No, okay, but then that's the, that's what I'm saying. Majority of the people are not listening. And you're and you're talking about how oh that album didn't make like numbers and stuff like that. J. Cole is always bound to sell a million and he does no promo at all. And people still listen. I feel like people gonna choose who they wanna listen to. Unfortunately, the majority listen to that crap. Yes. And like you said, the people who are making that trash that crap is not really living that life. So they're lying. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. just that they're lying. Some of them could have lived it before and then they... Okay, but that goes before. back to the point. Well, if you lived that life before, let your music say, well, this is your life that you had before. And then let it go. They're just trying to get their checks cashed. That's what I think. A lot of people are not worried about truth. And then you got to think, a lot of them too, they didn't make their own money. They are under record labels who are telling them what they can and can't say. And a lot of people... Well, they need to go independent then. You know how many, a lot of independent artists are out there? Because, like you said before, the means that we have now are not the same as we... We didn't... They didn't have Instagram back in, in the day. They didn't have SoundCloud back in the day. They didn't have a way to put their music out there. So now a lot of artists are just independent. And they're still making their money because... People, they still have their little following, whether it's yeah, not like on a grand that. scale. That's what I'm about to say. It's still not like they could because when you got to pay for all of that stuff out of pocket, that's why I still believe like people like Drake and stuff went back and signed. Um, even though, because at this point, you done did all of this. Like, what you going to go back and sign for? That's my, that's my logic behind stuff. But that's why I feel like people like Drake and stuff went back and actually signed contracts and stuff because at the end of the day, they can only do so much with their cash flow. They don't have the same connections. They don't have the same pool. But a lot of bigger artists are bringing these people out now. Like they need, And they need to continue to do that if they want to get out from under the powers that be. I don't even know who owns half of these record labels. If they want to get out from under that, more artists need to stand up and do their own thing. But a lot of people, they just don't even believe that they can do it. Um, so it's just, yeah, and some of the, the other artists who have learned how to successfully maneuver without having to sign a deal with somebody, they need to go back and teach these other artists that's coming up. But they don't want to. They want to keep everything to themselves. That's the problem.
We live in a very selfish world. That's the problem world. because some people want to do it, but they just, it don't matter. Like that first hit, that first album, you ain't really made no money. It depends. It, it, you ain't you ain't rich rich yeah, but it, it, all, it all you, depends you've made enough now that sophomore album is like where that's, that's where you, where you kind of like get name. tested and like can you really make another great album like you did yes. the first one yes. stuff like people that don't understand music business go back to what TLC them said you owe a lot of people money but nah but they did TLC dirty from the jump but they wasn't but they was looking they was looking they were yeah I mean during that time a lot Lot of the women heck some of the men too but the majority of the women them. they had crappy deals but at the, but think ready. about it but think about it from their perspective though I'm just trying to make it I just want to make my name known I want to yep. show everybody that I'm talented that I can sing that I can do all of these things and someone here who has the money is willing to put my name out there I don't care what I'm finding at this point because you telling me I'm about to be in a music video, people about to know my name, I get to go on those, these award shows, like, that's all they see, that's all they thought. Yeah. So yeah, of course they gonna get screwed over it. I'm still mad at the fact the kind of cars they had and they were selling over a millions of records. People and just still now poor? Starting, to, starting to worry about more than, realizing that it's more than just, I like making music, let me make music. They re they starting to go back and really check. It, I seen a post from Chingy the other day, and he talking about he been in court for two years behind his own royalties because somebody that was a part of his camp who he was supposed to trust had him sign some documentation that basically gave all the rights to his royalties, which should be his. It's his songs. He wrote. But a lot of people don't own their royalties. He records, and that's what I just saying. a couple of now years ago. What you gonna call it? The bomb husband that Sierra got. Russell Wilson bought her royalties for her. She ain't never owned her own royalties. And that's what I'm saying. People don't understand. Like, but that's where you make your money. That is where you make Every your money. Every time that record play, you get a check off of that. And people don't realize, like, we just want to make money. Or we, we, it's just, we not make money. We just want to make music. Like, different stuff they're not realizing. Like, I need to cross these T's, dot these I's. Because they don't, there's no etiquette for this. They saw people going around doing seminars saying, hey, when you go into the music business, instead of just making your music, oh, I'm looking crazy. Instead <laughs> of just being worried about making your music, like, you need to check for this, you need to check for that. You don't have people going around being honest about the music business. And now the people that's trying to hop out the music business and be in other ventures, they're worried about their other ventures. They're not worried about going back and let me each one teach one. They worried about trying to hop up out of this and make some more money in other ways so they ain't got to keep rapping to their 82 and tour into their 93. They, it's hard out here. You know it's hard out here yeah. for a camp. And she when said he's trying he to make his, his money eyes. for the rent. He said he opened Cadillac his eyes. and gas money spent. Have a whole lot of. He said it opened his eyes because he he realized like dang like I'm a, now I gotta really start paying.